This is a pencil pouch using the thonging technique. Let's have a look. Uh huh. That one is not decorated. I was expecting that this work is decorated, not completed. Let me have a look at yours. Nice. Uh huh. <coughs> nice, nice, nice. Nice. How do you cover that? How will you cover here? Uh -huh. Let me have a look at yours. Turn it. Nice. This one has tried to decorate it. You can have a look. Uh -huh. Because we looked at decoration using buttons, you can have a look at that. There is also some decoration there. Uh -huh. This one has already placed in some... Uh, what are these? Crayons. Crayons. Wow, nice. Uh -huh. This is beautiful. So viewer, as you are looking at this, and as we've looked at the performance level, how you assess the performance level of every learner, there is a learner who will get a four, there is a learner who will get a three, there is a learner who will get a two, and also a learner who will get a one. You can have a look at this. This is the thonging technique. This one here is the thonging technique. Uh -huh. Let me have a look at this one first. This is not thonging technique, my son. Huh? Very nice. Hey, this one has rings in it. Wow. And some decoration. Let me have a look at yours. <coughs> Let me have a look at yours, Karim. Very nice. You've not completed your work. Let me have a look at yours. So the teacher will assess the learner according to how the learner has performed the task. I've prepared an assessment rubric where the learners will have to, uh, the, the, the learner's work is now assessed according to what you have done. The performance level is exceeding expectations, meeting expectation, approaching expectation, and below expectation. So viewer, whatever your judgment is, I'm waiting in the comments. Ciao. So students, what can you tell the world? We love CBC! What are you saying?